If your friend, your cousin, is also a friend of Marco Dane's, well, they might know each other. Maybe, maybe they met. They seem to know each other at the Wallington. Oh, yes, of course. It's so silly of me to forget. He, um, Marco came in and, and I introduced them. Strange. What's strange? It's strange that having just met, your cousin gave Marco money just before the two of you got into the elevator. He gave him money? Are, are, are you sure? Yes. Marco said something about taking care of business, and the man reached into his pocket. Or maybe he was reaching in to pull out a business card. You know, Marco's quite a hustler. Maybe he was trying to form some sort of business contract. Karen, it was money. Please wait before you say anything. I would like to state my position here. It is certainly not one I would have chosen for myself. Karen, I would have given anything in the world not to have seen you in that hotel. I do not make a habit of prying into other people's business. And I try not to pass moral judgments on other people's behavior. But I simply cannot ignore what I saw in that hotel lobby for the... The simple reason that I love Larry very much. We are very close. We have been for years. Yes, yes, I know it had. I know, and, I, and, I, and I'm very sorry that you misinterpreted, but I, I know how terrible it must have looked, but... I, really, it was so innocent. I mean, it was my cousin, and there was Marco. Oh, Bishy, this is absolutely ridiculous. I would never do a thing like that. I, I couldn't. I'm not that kind of woman. I'm really not. And I would never betray Larry like that in a million years. Karen, the reason that I cannot ignore what I saw yesterday is because it's not the first time I've seen you in the Wallington with Marco Dane. There was another time. I saw the two of you getting off the elevator, and that time he handed you money. You, you saw that? Yes, I did. So, you see, hotel, and you, and money being passed back and forth, and Marco Dane in the middle of it all. How could I help but think that? Convince me that it is innocent. I can't. You can't. You can't. Then it's true. You. you yes. That's right. Find it hard to say, don't you, Vicky? It's almost a harder to say than it is to live. You see, there's a whole vocabulary that surrounds it. Mm. Number. I think that's my favorite. Number, not man, not person, but just one of so many faces.
shot. I still don't have a heart of gold. <laughs> What's the matter, Vicky? Feel a little nauseous? Feel a little sick to your stomach? You want to throw up? Well, let me tell you something. It, it doesn't help. I've tried it. Why don't you say something? Scream! Yell! Something! Why don't you tell me what a saint Larry is and how rotten I am? Why don't you tell me what you all always knew, that I was never good enough for him? I was always the bad one. Jenny was the good one, but Karen was the bad one. You know my life is going to turn out like this. Why do you look so sharp? Karen, Karen! You can't say anything. Then why don't you do something? Why don't you hit me? Why don't you beat me? I deserve to be beaten, you know. Why don't you punish me? I've been waiting so long to be punished. I am not going to punish you. Oh, you're not going to punish me. Yeah, but you're going to tell Larry, you're going to tell everybody, and everybody's going to know. Oh, God, Vicky. I hate myself. You have no idea how much I hate myself. This double life. This deceit. I can hardly even look at my Larry anymore. I can hardly bear to touch him. And I love him, too, Vicky. You have no idea how much I love him. Then why in the hell are you prostituting yourself? Marco. Marco makes me do it. Marco, how? He's blackmailing me. He's blackmailing me. He told me that if I didn't do this, that he was going to tell... Tell what? Tell what? Karen, there is no point in holding anything back. Now tell me. All right. All right. All right. Many years ago, Marco and I got into trouble with the law back in Colorado. And he went to jail because I turned state's evidence against him. But I was involved in it, too. And he said that if I didn't prostitute myself, he was going to tell Larry. And so you see, Vicky, if he had told Larry, Larry Merrill would have married me. Larry would find it very difficult to understand that that was when I was young and wild. This is uh, unbelievable. Marco forcing you to do that? Oh, it's despicable. Yes, and he's also very mean, and I know that he could hurt me, and he would, and that's why I haven't been able to break away. But you've got to believe that I've tried, Vicky. I really have tried. Oh, yes, I believe you. Sure, I believe you. You just haven't had any power. The only person who can deal with this is somebody who has more power than Marco. Somebody like my husband, Joe, could handle it. I'm sure of that. No, Vicky. Vicky, you can't tell Joe. You can't tell anyone. You can't. Nobody can help. You cannot continue to let Marco exploit you. No, but I... I feel now like... Like I can handle Marco. You just said you couldn't. I know. I know I did, but I feel differently now. It's... All of a sudden, I'm not alone. I've tried to tell people before. I tried to tell Will, I tried to tell Jenny, but I just, I couldn't get it out. And now that you know, I, I feel stronger. I feel like I can deal with Marco. But please, Vicki, you've got to promise me not to tell anyone. Please promise me no one. All right. 
All right. All right. Thank you. Oh, God, I thank you. And in some funny way, I'm... I'm so grateful you were at that hotel. Thank you. I have to go, Karen. I just have to go. Mm -hmm.